die for. Live to no end. This is living. The life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living to death. So what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the die for? And live to no end. This is living. The life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living to death. Yeah. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Family First Life call today. Uh, my name is Jamie Cherry. I'm excited to be able to host and talk about an incredible announcement and very excited to hear from uh, eight top producers and managers about why this is such an incredible announcement. But really, before we get there, there was this quote that I came across earlier today. I just want to throw it up on the screen real quick. If you could get all the people in an organization rowing in the same direction, you could dominate any industry in any market against any competition at any time. And that just really stuck with me. And I just love this amazing incentive that's being announced here today um, for our first ever Family First Life uh, top producer incentive trip, which I'm just going to share a quick little video um, of that announcement. And then we're going to bring on our special guest, Grady Polson. So here we go. Right. Grady Polson, Integrity Partner. Are you with us, man? Yes, sir, Jamie. You hear me okay? I can hear you fine, man. Hey, so I'm excited to have you on as well as so many others. Uh, tell us how this came to be, because especially with Family First Life, we're a culture of top producers and our producers get paid the best anywhere in the entire industry. And you might have heard us over the last couple of years, maybe dogging on incentive trips. And I want to make sure I make this big disclaimer that we're not dogging on incentive trips. We're dogging on carrier incentive trips because we'd rather get paid from the carriers. But when Family First Life puts on an incentive trip, you know, it's going to be an amazing time. So Grady, kind of give us a background of how this came to be. Uh, awesome. Well, thank you, Jamie, for coming on. I can't wait for you guys all to hear from the, you know, the, everyone that's coming on. But um you know, uh, we've been in family first, been with family first life, blessed and humbled, honored and grateful to have this company as the uh, logo on my business card for going on half a decade now. And to see that the companies continue to evolve, continue to get better. Hayden told me the other day about how uh, back when we were selling at a high level <clears throat> that they're versus today, sell the same premium, but you can make $50,000 more in bonus money from all the different carriers and corporate and uh, all the different bonuses that can come through versus the same exact production, but now it just keeps getting better. And so, um, you know, I, I think that what's what we've done so well, Jamie, as a company, is we've put together a uh, a machine, a tank, if you will, right? What's what Bowen would probably have driven one, but what's ever is bigger and nastier than a tank, uh, an all-out assault vehicle that just mows down premium and protects families in the behind it, and then leaves apple seed trees along the way to make sure we leave the better land better than we found it. But like. We've done a phenomenal job at helping people make money. And with um, the pandemic and all the things in the evolution of virtual sales, we're now in a world where people aren't around each other as much. And that's got its bonuses. It's, you know, some teams, a lot of teams are doing lock-ins, which has done a great job of, of the pull together, of bringing together. I was talking to Dave Witcher and his team this morning. I mean, there's so many teams doing lock-ins now and, and getting in front of people as just that personal touch, that camaraderie, shoulder to shoulder, uh, belly to belly, elbow to elbow in the, you know, working with a team holds so much merit, but the majority of the company has just spent a lot of time going, I'm watching some training videos, I'm dialing on live dials, but I don't get that sort of, you know, human interaction that, that people crave, right? People crave a, as humans. And I think that we had a very telling experience this past, uh, earlier this uh, last month when we did our um, sales summer sales conferences, 15, 16 of them across the country, tremendous success. Hundreds of people came out and got better and networked. And, and um, it was just a very telling insight to going, 
we need to do this more, right? And the and carriers and other companies and, and FFL has always been, you know, money, profits first. And we want to make sure we're the highest paid because if we pay people the most, then what will happen? People will ultimately go, well, I make the most money here. I can do the most for my family with this money. I can do the most for my charities, et cetera. Um, so I'm very happy and comfortable. I'm, I'm going to continue to grow. And that's been the, one of the recipes to our success. Just last month, we did 42 million issue paid volume. I mean, we're we're doing things very well here, but Sean and 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 um, his in, and his insight is now continuing to listen and and uh, being open to new ideas. And we, you know, me, you, I talked to a lot of their leadership about what that would look like if we had an incentive trip. Could you get your team on board with pushing towards some sort of top two hundred, top two hundred and fifty pull together? And every single person I talked to was without question all about it, excited. And now here we are, where we get to, you know, it's, we're three days in now. I'm talking to agents that are more excited than ever. Um, you know, the, the, it's kind of the, the in, in all things in, in life and in business, you'll be familiar with the Pareto principle, right? 20% does 80% of the effort and 80% does 20% of the effort. Well, FFL, the numbers are no different. Our top 20% of the producers produce a significant amount of volume. So, but if we can stimulate and excite that bottom 80%, who's just comfortable protecting three, five, seven, 10 families a month, they're not going for that 20, 30, 40, 80, 50, 150 families a month, big, big number goals. But if we can go, hey, you know, come, come hang out with us. Come spend some time. Let's break bread. Let's rock climb. Let's play basketball in the ocean. Let's uh, let's go down water slides over the over the over the Medi over the Caribbean Sea. Um, let's go hang out on the beach and go down the biggest water slide in North America. Right. Let's come spend like they might at that point, Jamie, I think might find that next gear and go, I'd like to be a part of that. And that's just really what, um, you know, I've been spending a lot of time talking to Sean and, and I can't wait for you to hear from the producers really digging into what they would be doing to make sure that they're hitting these numerical goals each and every day and week to go. But Sean's like, he's like, I've been talking to a bunch today. He's like, make sure you make sure we, we, you know, this is just shy of a million dollars that corporate's paying for this out of their pocket. Some of the carriers are throwing in some help, but this is an expense to corporate. Americo, Mutual, Amam, Prosperity. We're so proud to have these sort of platinum partner carriers that are kind of got leading the way as far as, you know, helping us from contracting to underwriting and just being partners with our business. Uh, but at the same standpoint, it's a big expense to corporate. And I originally pitched him. I was like, you know, we've got this producer bonus. And, you know, it's 500 bucks if they protect 30 families. Why don't, if we do that over three months, it's 1500, maybe we'll take some of that, you know, corporate throws in a little. And he goes, you know what, Grady, I don't want to take any money out of anyone's pocket. We're going to find a way to do this and keep the producer bonus. And I think there's a summer, summer bump. It reminds me of like pregnancy, but like, you know, when you have a bump, it's babies and baby bump, you know, it's positive, right? Jamie, you know, the baby, I got four. So I know all about baby bumps, but, um, but in that doing so, um, the summer bump contest has doubled the producer bonus. So like, it's just getting better, man. And what that's so exciting. So I always just thank you to Sean. I'm excited for all the producers and, and, I'll, and I'll say a few words and pass it to you so you can continue this. But as you look at this sort of new first time we've ever, I mean, we're, we're a big company guys. We're a big company and change at any level is you got to be methodical. You got to be thoughtful. You got to make good, good decisions that doesn't hurt what we've already done and created, but also helps propel us forward. And for us all, and Sean and, and corporate and carriers, et cetera, have the insight. That's a huge factor in itself, but that none of that matters. If you don't look into yourself and go, this would be cool to do, right? A, a, a feather in the cap, right? I think it's feather in the cap, right? Or a, a, a badge on your shoulder, on your lapel to do, but above and beyond protecting a hundred families in three months, how much value can you get by being at that table for three days in the ocean, right? These top producers are captive. You know, you can get a seat next to them by the one of the 15 pools they've got. You could jump on the treadmill, one of the 30 treadmills they've got overlooking the ocean. You can meet them in the adult jacuzzi. You know, it just means no kids. It doesn't mean anything explicit for all of you, you know, PG-13. Bowen's smiling so big, I got to bring it back in. Um, but that, but I'm saying like to have that opportunity, like this is like a floating city and I could just sit down with Easton and ask him, Easton, what are you doing to get your people ever running faster? That, that right there, like look at it at this as if you're a new producer or a producer at any level is I have a, I have the, I have the access to a cheat code, right? And some people, We'll, we'll go for it 
and slow down and tuck her out and run out of steam and go, you know what? That was a good thing. You know, I just, I don't, I didn't want to go on a cruise anyway, Jamie, I, you know, that's stupid, right? I got to fly away to Florida. And like, that would be, you know, people will, they'll, they'll talk, they'll talk smack about the Shawshank Redemption because they don't like prison movies, right? When ironically, the Shawshank Redemption is the greatest movie of all time, according to IMDb. My five-year-old son keeps asking Alexa, what's the best movie of all time? And I'm like, you're not watching Shawshank, you're five. But what I'm trying to get through to you is that people will talk bad about Christmas or Hanukkah because they don't have money for gifts, right? Versus going, this is something that if my goals align with what I want to accomplish, I can push through and make this happen okay. for me, for my family, for my future family. And that's what I would say. So if you're on here, you're listening, I'm so excited for those that are just gonna qualify because they just are not at natural 30K producers, but I'm more so speaking to the 10, 15 and 20K producers. They're gonna find that next gear. They're gonna get to the seat at the table. They're gonna get to spend time with these top producers and top managers and come out of that cruise fun event in November, going into 2024, being having the skills and assets and resources to truly take their business to the next level. So Jamie, thank you for hosting this. And I can't wait for you all to hear from these incredible uh, speakers that are coming up. Well, Grady, a couple of things before I let you go and we kind of start speeding through this. Um, I remember at our last retreat that we had in Arizona, the time that we all got together at the the big uh, casino, lots of fun. Yeah. Andrew Taylor got up on stage and he talked about working towards like a goal for relief, like these 90 day pushes and yeah. uh, take yourself back to day one. If you would have had a goal for relief 90 days out for Chantel, like what would that conversation have looked like with her for her to say like, hey, I can get behind you, like the friends and family saying, hey, we're pushing for something. What would that have looked like if you would have had this when you first started? I mean, I would have just I would have probably shown her that video and said, we've been broke forever. And if I work real hard, we can go on a cruise together in three months and we're going to make a bunch of money along the way. Right. Like, I mean, as simple as that, it doesn't need to it needs to be that you just delete who you were, you eliminate who you were, and you stop reflecting and holding on to these bad habits and this, this, me this mediocre mentality that you have, because who you wouldn't be on this call or watching this video in the future, if you didn't have big goals and dreams for yourself. And that is a very powerful thing to have, because most people in society don't have big goals, they don't have big dreams, they're very comfortable with being average and ordinary, and that's a life that they can hold, and that they can keep. But this group of people, has big goals and big dreams. And all you got to do is just work hard for it. Lean into the trainings, get yourself an extra batch of leads each week. And, and all the secrets are going to come out in these next producers. But I'm just so grateful for Sean to have had the um, insight and foresight to that this is a value. I, I'm excited for all of us to have this to, um, to recruit with and to be excited about. And I'm excited for all the new friends I'm going to make, you know, rock climbing over the Caribbean Sea, because I'm definitely doing some rock climbing because that looks like a blast. So um, appreciate Incredible. you all. Thank you, Jamie, so much for hosting this. Uh, and, and if you guys um, ha are on this right now, fflwatch.com, send it out in your group chats and tell people they've got to join you because the secrets are about to be revealed right now. So thank you, Jamie. Absolutely. And before we go ahead and bring on our first people, I just want to throw this up on the screen just so everybody can get kind of a quantifiable idea of what it looks like to help 100 families over the course of 90 days. And we're going to send this out for everybody, something you can print out, put in your office, have the ability for your people to track real simple. We've got three months, 13 weeks. So July is a four week month, August is a five week month and September is a four week month. So if you take 100 families, or 100,000 in premium, when we divide that by 13 weeks, we're going to get 7,700 in annual premium issued each week. So we want to make sure this is really important, issued versus submitted. And I don't know all the official qualifications, Grady. I'm sure that'll come out on a corporate flyer in regards to what carriers are going to count versus IUL versus annuity, all that stuff. But if I was somebody on this call, I would stick to simplified issue life insurance with our top four or five carriers. Because number one, not only is it going to help you qualify faster because it's going to issue faster, but you're going to get paid faster, which is obviously the goal here. So uh, 7,700 a week, you know, if I go out and I submit 10 a week, I think that's a pretty good safe place to be in 10 to 12 a week with things that fall off the books or things that the client doesn't have money in their account on the draft day. Um, so I would say 10 to 12 a week would be a good opportunity. So if I put week one, I submitted um, 12, maybe I only issue 8,900. And then I continue to follow that trajectory all the way up to 100 families. So great opportunity there for you guys to be able to 
track that, wrap your mind around it, and understand that qualification period started on June 29th and will end on September 27th with the cruise being, I believe, the second week of November. So I'm excited for that. So, all right, with that, we'll keep it moving. Uh, we've got two of my favorite people, um, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Hayden Hill and Nina Hill. Are you guys on here with us? We are. Yes. Can you hear us okay? Hey, congrats, newlyweds. Excited for you. Um, two Hall of Fame producers, integrity partners. They're people who've always led from the front. So not just somebody who can, from a manager's perspective, tell you how to do it. They've done it themselves. So basically, if you break this down, guys, you have to write a Hall of Fame pace for 90 days. So I, I'd be interested to hear, you know, your tips, because I we've had, how many people could you guys count that you've had come in and write a Hall of Fame pace for one month? And then they're nowhere to be found six months later. So how can somebody go out and write that pace for 90 days straight? Yeah, definitely. So uh, first off, Jamie, thanks for having us on. Um, we're all super excited about this. Thanks, Grady and the staff for putting this on as well. Um, but I think, you know, just like you said, Jamie, uh, this deal, if you look at it, basically it's a Hall of Fame pace. But the second month is a five-week month. So you have a little bit of extra leeway there. And I think when you look at these kind of incentive trips, one, just like, you know, Grady said, the cruise will be awesome. Um, but if you qualify for the cruise, the amount of money that you'll make, the amount of breakthroughs that you'll have. And then also, like Grady said, the people you get to be around. I remember my first couple, you know, incentive trips or, um, you know, conferences where I got a few minutes with Andrew or Sean or any of the, these guys, Mark Mead. And I was able to ask questions and see what they do and what they did, but also just see that they're regular people just like me and you. Like that's, that's the biggest secret about this. And to do this contest, you don't have to be the best, you know, rider in the company. You just have to be consistent. $7,700 a week issue pay. So we're talking, you know, let's, let's do 10 or 11 per week, just in case, you know, we have bad banks and chargebacks and all that kind of stuff. If you have a bad week, that's okay. Rebound the next week. But some of the uh, some of the tips I'm going to give you guys, I think, are a little bit out of the ordinary here, a little bit different, uh, but they can make a really big difference. And so you're going to hear, you know, leads and, you know, work in action, all this kind of stuff. But I think something that we all can implement as a company, you know, now for this for this trip forever is just being smarter with how we work. And so my challenge to everyone on this call is buy your leads, make your calls, do all that kind of stuff like you usually do. But for the next 90 days, let's be super intentional with asking for referrals. So at the end of every single presentation, whether you sell them or not, ask for referrals. If you can get three or five or 10, that's going to double, triple your production if you're doing it intentionally. And just like anything, just like the next point I'm going to bring up with annuities, it's about asking. If you don't ask, you can never get them. So that's one thing. Um, and the next thing is add-ons. So just being smart guys. So like you sell someone a life policy at the end of it, talk about, Hey, you can get an extra $500,000 of accidental death coverage for $22 a month. Do you want to tackle that on top of this? Keep it on the same date. That's super simple. If they get a final expense policy, Hey, Grady, I know we got your final expenses, you know, taken care of. You said that you uh, live in a house, you have a mortgage. Do you have any mortgage protection? And then go down that way as well. If they have a final expense or a mortgage, talk to them about IUL. And then one of the biggest things as well, and I guess this contest is all life, but same thing while you're doing it, you know, annuities. And so if you guys can just be super smart and intentional about the sales that you guys make and, you know, showing high, don't be afraid to, you know, show high and see. I had someone the other day, I'm writing them here in the next like two hours. And I showed, they're like, my parents want cremation. And I was like, okay, cool. 10,000, 15,000, 20,000. I said, Hey, by the way, the max is 40,000 with one carrier and it's 300 bucks a month each. And I was like, not definitely not going to do that. And the other day he's like, Hey, we want to do that. So if you guys are just super smart and intentional about that, those extra things that you do from the work you're already doing um, can make a massive difference and super, super excited to see all you guys. This is going to be an awesome trip and um, go out there and, uh, Get, get, get in part of the club because this is going to be something that you don't want to miss. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but once Grady started talking on here, I wanted to jump through this wall because he fires me up every single time. But those are the types of people that you guys are going to be able to surround yourself with at this event. So I would do absolutely anything that I can to make sure you guys qualify for this. And I know 
um, both of them touched on the people there and like the, the amount of value that you're going to just get from being around those people. And yes, a hundred thousand in the next 90 days or, or 13 weeks or whatever it is may seem like a lot, but when you break it down into those weeks, like that image that, uh, that Jamie made, it's really 7,700 a week. What does that break down to a day? Like it's, it's really not as big when you break it down. And the I can only imagine like I remember when I first started and I would have a bad week and I would go and talk to the people that also had a bad week and what would happen to my mindset my mindset immediately went to oh the lead suck oh this sucks oh dialing the phone sucks but I remember this so vividly like I remember play suite had like a 60 60 k month and I was like dude instead of calling these people that are writing nothing why am I not calling someone like play sweet? And once I started talking to and surrounding myself with those kind of people, I started issue paying 60, 70, 80 camp month. And um, that's going to be exactly what happens at an event like this, where you guys don't just have that one person that wrote or issue paid or protected 60 families. You guys are on 250 people that did the exact same thing, which is huge. And it's gonna carry forward into the rest of the year. So I think because of this event, truly there's gonna be a lot more Hall of Fame producers than ever. And um, I guess my tip, um, I, back to that image that uh, Jamie made with like the breakdown, I think schedule, and you really can't hit a goal without a game plan. So having a game plan, if you know that you have a vacation coming up, instead of, you know, or let's say you have a three day vacation coming up, that means you're going to have to make up for the days that you're not going to be in town. So you're going to have to write a little bit more. So make sure you map out exactly, you know, uh, what numbers you need to hit, how, where you're at. And then from there, obviously the most important thing is going to be leads. So during this contest, I would make sure you guys are buying more leads and talking more families than ever. Incredible. Thank you guys so much. I think one of the things that just stood out to me the most is there's going to be more Hall of Fame producers than ever before because of this contest. I think there's going to be some people who didn't know that they could help 30 families in a month. They're going to do it for the first time and then they're going to do it for three months in a row. And they're saying, I could just do that for 12 months in a row and my entire life will change. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, next person I want to bring on, um, we, we've kind of been joking around all day. He's like, Hey man, you know, most of the people on this call, you know, they, they write more business than me. Yeah. I'm a top producer, but like, wh why do you want me even on the call? And I'm like, man, you have one of the fastest growing agencies in the entire company. And you've been a leader when it comes to creating these lock-ins around the country and you get people to fly in all over the country to these one-off locations. And you do such a good job at promoting these events and what they're going to get out of them. So now when you take an event like, hey, we're going to be on a, we're going to spend a million dollars on a cruise for 250 people. I can only imagine the conversation that you're going to be able to have with your team. So Bowen, I'd love to have you on here and just, you know, what does that conversation look like? Because you're so good at getting people moving and getting people started. And you have so many brand new 30K producers, which is so exciting. So we'd love to hear from you, man. Yeah, dude, absolutely. I appreciate you having me on, Jamie. Grady, Nina, Hayden, I appreciate you guys. I think this is huge. And at the end of the day, like this, these are goals and structures, and this is what we should have implemented in our business to grow it. Like this is incentivizing us to get on a trip, but this is what I break down in order to build a big business. So it's cool that you have that tracker. And I think we all need to take advantage of that tracker. But like when you start getting intentional with your business and, and your structure and your goals, that's when you start having the results. So I mean, I was big on writing stuff down. So I'm in my office. It's like, how bad do you want to build a business? And I, I, I have these questions and I have this stuff written down to where it, it like hits me every single morning. So every single morning before I would start my day, I would write, how bad do you want to win? What are you going to tell yourself at the end of the day? So like for something like this, there's going to be over a hundred people on this cruise. Why not you? And those are questions we can write down. Like there will be over a hundred people on this freaking cruise. Why am I not going to be on it? And like, don't give yourself a reason why. And then it's like, there, everybody has the same license. They have the same access to leads. They have the same access to the resources, but who's actually going to do it? So, I mean, my tip is an accountability buddy. I like to work out with people in the gym that push me. So same thing in business. Like I like to hang out with winners. I like to hang out with people that are selling at a high level. I like people that are setting the pace, making me uncomfortable. And yeah, it may be uncomfortable, maybe your biggest month's 10k and you reach out to somebody that's selling 80 90 100k a month yeah it's going to be uncomfortable but guess what they're going to push you and when you're uncomfortable that's when you're going to grow and the the biggest thing too is like this is 90 days 
Like we all want to build a big business. A big business isn't built 90 days, but you have to do these same steps, these same little trackers every single week, every single month, month after month after month in order to build a big business. And you look what Nina and Hayden and, and Grady and Jamie and, and some of these guys like Andrew have done and built. It it was set, it, it was a pace set like this to the, the cruise trip, but it was after the cruise trip, they kept that momentum. So if you're making 35, 36, 37, 38, 40, 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars, and then you get to go to this this cruise trip, like that's a bonus. But this sets you on track and this gets you the cash flow in order to invest back in your business and to get it rolling. And the thing is too, once you start selling at that level, like your belief is through the roof. Your belief that you can do this is through the roof. Your belief that you can consistently do this is the biggest thing. Like nobody cares about the one-timers. They care about the people that do it over and over and over again. And that's building any successful business. Like anybody can go out and, and write 7,000 in a week whoop de do, you know what I mean? But it's like, you do that three months in a row, boom, you're on a cruise. And then you're like, holy, excuse my language, holy shit. Like I'm on, I'm on the path to, to finding consistency and persistency and figuring this business out. So, I mean, I appreciate every single one of you getting on this call. The thing is, there's going to be people on this call that go and, and they qualify and they hit the cruise and they have a good time and their business will be rolling. Their momentum's going to be through the roof. And then there's going to be people that will be in the same dang spot is when they got on this call. The thing is, what are you willing to change? How focused are you willing to be? Like, this is your business. It's not our business. It's not great. Like, it's everybody's business. How bad do you want your people to be on the, on the boat? What if your people are on the boat and you're not on the boat? What kind of leader does that make you look like? And I, I think that's huge. Like, you want to set the pace for this growth. You want to you lead this path to success and building a big business and helping people make money. Well, the best way to help people make money is show them how to make money. So I appreciate you having me on, uh, Jamie. I'm excited to hear from these other guys, but this is awesome. This, is, this can be literally the turning point in your business. It doesn't matter what's happened the last two years, one year, last 90 days. It's all about what you're doing moving forward to get to where you need to go. So I appreciate you having me on, Jamie. Love it, man. Thank you for the tips. And I'm not one who's into like any of the juju or anything, guys, but if your camera's off, you're definitely not qualifying for the trip. So if you want to have a qualification, hundred families in a month or in three months, your camera is definitely on. All right. Lots of cameras popping on. That's exciting. All right. And I, I love what you said. Anybody can do 7k in a week, but like who can do it consistently? I remember hearing really early on from Zach Tardowski and he was like, man, I was never, ever number one for the week. But at the end of the year, I was number one on the entire team. He's like, I was always in like the top three or four, you know, top two. I was never really consistently number one for the week, but I was number one for the year because I did it consistently. I thought that, that was super powerful. So I love that. Um, next person I want to bring on a uh, brand new Hall of Fame producer, Sean Simpson. Um, Sean was like, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but he was close to 150 families behind Hall of Fame at the end of the year last year, and he wanted to do it really badly. So Sean, obviously would love to hear, you know, there's gonna be some people out there that are behind the eight ball. They're gonna maybe have a bad July or they're gonna have a bad week. Like, what do you do to kind of get back in the race? And, you know, you make a decision obviously, um, but what does that look like for you? Maybe coming from behind for Hall of Fame and how would you apply that to this contest? Yeah, well, I wasn't, thanks for having me on, Jamie, by the way. I wasn't planning on talking about myself, but you kind of teed it up for that, Jamie. <laughs> so, okay, um, the story goes is uh, I was at the retreat with uh, all you guys, and Andrew Taylor came on, and he said, go on a 90-day run. So what I did was I wanted to get my family on the same page, right? So what I did was I sat down my wife, and I sat down my son, and I said, okay, I want to do a 90 day run. And they're like, well, what is that? And I said, well, it's a lot of working. It's doing things I've never done before. And I need you to be on the same page. So I talked to my wife and I said, look, you know, SJ, my son, he's got a lot of things going on. If you can kind of take him to those things, I would be very grateful because that allows me to do some work. I planned on working from eight o'clock in the morning till eight o'clock at night, no questions asked booking appointments, going all out and just, you know, busting this thing open, right? I didn't know what that was going to look like, but 
all I seen was every single month, my production was going up, right? And then come December, we had a five-week month. That first week, I was um, in, in, in uh, Thanksgiving. By the way, I told my family, I said, after the 90 days, we're going to go on a three-day trip. And the trip was, I'm a big Vikings fan, the trip was uh, in Minnesota, to the Vikings game on Thanksgiving. My wife is from Cancun, Mexico. So all of our her side of the family is in Cancun. So we don't ever do anything on Thanksgiving. So we decided to go to the Vikings game and she got to go shopping at the Mall of America the next day. And then come, come the following week, I was already one week behind in December and I, I still had 73,000 to come up with in December to hit Hall of Fame. So quick story. I got this, I have a two-story house and on my second level going down the stairs, there's a big wall that goes all the way up to the ceiling and there's nothing there. So uh, when we moved in, we put this big sign that says, believe right there. And so every time you come down the stairs, you can see that big word that says, believe. And Sometimes it means something different for that day, right? Sometimes it means, you know, believe in Christ. Sometimes it means believe in, in, in uh, uh, your wife, your children, believe in the thing that goes on. But for that month, it meant believe that you can come back from behind and get to where you want to go. And so every day I just tapped that sign and I said, okay, I'm going to believe today. So I was already behind. I ended up writing a lot of uh, policies that didn't go through because I didn't quite understand the prosperity thing. I thought they went through and they didn't go through. Come to find out I'm even more behind in the second week and we get down to the nitty gritty. It's the last day of the month and I, I'm still like maybe one or two thousand dollars behind to hit Hall of Fame. I wasn't quite sure if the other one's issue paid. But it was like seven o'clock at night. All of my appointments were done. My last appointment no showed. I get a lead in and uh, it's a mortgage lead. And it came in at like 730 at night and the guy's 78 years old. And I thought, oh my gosh, okay, let's work this thing. Have faith, believe. And so I called the guy up and I said, hey, you know, calling about the mortgage protection uh, insurance that you requested and um you know, do you, do you want to knock this out right now? They just want us to go over the options with you or do you want to wait till tomorrow? And he's like, well, let's just knock it out right there. So then I spoke with him for about two hours, became a really good friend of his, and he ended up uh, protecting his family. And it was a small little policy, but it put me over the top. And after I got done with that call, it was like a big weight came off of my chest. And it was because of a simple fact that I believed in myself. And I ended up hitting Hall of Fame at the very, very last minute in, in, in 10 months. So that, that's kind of that story. The other thing that I wanted to talk to, to you guys about and just kind of give a tip on is do the hard thing first until it becomes easy. Everybody in our world, in order to grow, we have to overcome small little bitty things, right? And we have to do... Uh, we have to do the hard things. If they were hard, weren't were hard things, they would be easy. And if they were easy, that means that we've done them in the past. I mean, if you think about it, when you learned how to ride a bike, it was something hard. It was probably scary. You jumped on a bike and you fell off a few times. And then before you know it, you jumped on a bike and either mom or dad was holding the seat behind and you're like starting to pedal. And all of a sudden you're getting better. You're going faster. And all of a sudden you're like, man, mom and dad's got me up pretty, pretty good. And then all of a sudden you look back and mom and dad's not there. You're doing it on your own. That hard thing became easy. So you have to write, take some time, reflect on yourself, take an hour, take two hours, take whatever needs to be and figure out what are my hard things in life that I need to overcome, right? Is it waking up early? If it is, get up early, and keep doing it until it becomes easy. Is it going to the gym? All of us need to lose a few pounds. Some of us are a little fluffy and a little round about around the edges. If that's a hard thing for you, go to the gym. What's stopping you? Is it because it's hard? Well, that's the whole point. Do it until it becomes easy, right? Is it eating right? Is it eating vegetables? 
Is it getting on live dials and unmuting and turning on your camera and doing a presentation on live dials? If it is, guess what? That's where you're going to learn the most. Live dials is where it's at. Everybody should be on live dials, especially if you're doing less than 5,000 a week. If you're doing less than 10,000 a week, if you're doing 50,000 a month, 100,000 a month, get on live dials. If you look, the people that are on live dials are high, high performance producers. And the reason why they are is because they're on live dials, right? If you think about it, if you're on live dials, just listening, you don't have your camera on and you're, you're, you're doing a presentation or if you're even calling to set an appointment, if you don't unmute, when you're done with that appointment, you're just going to rack your brain and say, okay, how can I get better? All you have is what's in between your ears, right? But if you unmute, guess what? Now you have a team of 10 people, 15 people, 20 people that can help you and give you tips and tricks and say, hey, maybe try saying it this way. Hey, maybe try saying it that way, okay? Unmute, and that's going to help you grow the fastest, Okay, is it asking it another thing that's a hard thing to do for some people? Reaching out to your manager. Guess what? You're, some people are afraid that that we're always busy and we don't have time for them. Bull crap, that is bull sugar right there. <laughs> because that's what we get paid for, right? We're there to help you grow. Okay, so if that's you, make sure you have the right to bug your manager to make sure that you get your questions answered, to get your help that you need, to get the, the, the uh, 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 role play down, right? If, if you're not good at doing presentations, do role plays, get better, right? Do the hard thing until it becomes easy. Then last tip, and then I'll get off of here. Um, set small goals for yourself, okay? If you're a new person, and you've never done a presentation, if you're doing telesales and you've never done a presentation, maybe that's a small goal that you want to hit. Look, all I want to do today is do a full presentation. That's all I want to do, okay? Then when you do a presentation, now make it a family helped, right? All I want to do is help one family, right? Set small little goals, and then when I was in real estate, we always used to say CAW, C-A-W, celebrate all wins, right? If it's a small win, celebrate it, right? Take, tell your wife, tell your husband, tell them so that you got a small win so you can enjoy yourself and celebrate. And last thing, this trip is going to be amazing. Don't think that I'm going to go out there and, and, and uh, do the best I can to to hit that 100,000, you got to believe and you got to tell yourself, I'm going on the trip no matter what. And when you believe that, it becomes your identity. And when you be, that becomes your identity, guess what? You're going to do things, small little bitty things to get you there. Okay. If I didn't believe and I didn't do those small little bitty things, even if it's in the back of your mind that, you know what, I'm not really sure I'm going to do this, but guess what? Act upon it. And when you act upon it, small little things will happen. And guess what? You're going to see yourself on that cruise. Put a picture on the wall of that cruise, okay? So you see it every single day. Visualize yourself on the cruise. And guess what? You will be on the cruise, along with me and all the other producers out there. You're going to become somebody that's better than you are right now. You're going to become better. And that's what this cruise is incentivized to do. So thanks, Jamie. I appreciate you having me on. Thank you, Sean. We really appreciate you, man. Guys, you can come from behind. So even if you don't start out strong, I promise you that momentum can absolutely build. Um, next person I want to bring on, uh, one of my good friends, just really getting to know him over the last uh, couple of weeks specifically, um, a three-time Hall of Fame producer, Easton Patton. Um, he is just a creator of top producers, and he just does such a good job at like letting his team know like what are the top producer habits and the things that we do on a daily basis to uh, obviously become uh, that type of person. So Easton, how are we doing, man? Dude, I'm awesome. You hear me loud and clear? I can hear you loud and clear. How you doing? Good, good. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm fantastic. And you guys are kind of laid out a lot of really, really good things to be able to help everyone kind of chase down this trip. Um, so Jamie, I, I kind of wanted to share, I loved how Bowen was talking about 
use this 90 days as your foundation, whether that's your foundation for high level production or the foundation to pour back into your business and help it grow. But this gives you a chance to really build some steam. And then you, there's a huge reward at the end of the tunnel. This is not a, a five year trip you're trying to do. It's 90 hard days. So I, I just wanted to talk about uh, how I would do it and I would cheat. I would steal as much time back from my calendar as possible. So I was doing a breakdown of some of the numbers and it used to be 30 appointments a week was the goal. If you, you know, you book 30 and you're out in the field, you're going to sit on 20, should be able to sell half and then boom, that's your hall of fame pace. So on the virtual side of things, it's maybe it's closer to like 30 presentations a week for you. Um, however you do your hybrid in person, all virtual dude, you're trying to take as much time back over this next 90 days as you can. So if you do an honest breakdown of your schedule, our traditional work schedule, if you're full-time is like six days a week, right? You have a dial day, two run days, or, you know, six virtual presentation days if you're chasing hall of fame. So if, if you're virtual, you're six days a week, 30 presentations a week, that's five presentations per day, um, which I don't think will usually take you 12 to 14 hours. So imagine if you could sneak in, and this is literally not counting Sundays, by the way, if you could sneak in two extra presentations a day just for this next 90 day roll, not including if you're working on Sundays at all, just your normal six day a week. Well, if you're virtual six days a week, two extra, that's going to come out to 12 extra presentations per week. That's 48 extra a month. That's an entire run week and some a month that you can have. So you can literally steal an extra week of production back by adding two presentations a day to your schedule. Again, not counting Sundays. Now we've got month number two, which for us is a five week roll. So that first month you can steal 48 extra presentation appointments in a five week month, you can take 60 extra appointments, presentations and put them on the board. Dude, you're getting so that's two extra weeks of presentation production that you're getting in a five week month just by adding two per day to your regular six day a week schedule. So at the end of our, you know, 90 day roll, you could give yourself 156 extra presentations or appointments just by adding two extra per day. Dude, that is a lot of extra repetitions and a lot of extra cracks at hitting your goals. So I would use that 90 days instead of having. 360, which you would have if you ran a normal, you know, 12 week schedule without the five week, dude, now you have 156 on top of your 360. So dude, you're going to be pushing well over 420 appointments, 415 appointments that you're going to have over the next 90 days. And if you know your numbers, like I would pay attention and track your guys' numbers because everybody's are a little bit different. But that is exactly what I would do over this next 90 days is just steal your time back. Take advantage of the extra days, add a couple appointments per day every single week for three months. And all of a sudden, you guys are going to have an entire extra month of production that you can squeeze into this next 90 days. So for me, this is not a 90-day competition. I'm going to get four months of production, and I'm going to get it done in three months by just adding a little bit extra during my normal work week. So if I've got my five presentations in by 2, 3, 4 p.m., dude, I still have till 8 o'clock in the evening to finish out my presentations. So that's, that's what I would really focus on. Um, I know a one, one thing that I struggled with when I started really loading up my schedule heavy is I would start to rush my appointments to start my next one. So when you're booking all your extra appointments and you're adding in some extra volume to your schedule, if you get someone on the horn and they are ready to have a conversation with you, you don't need to press to try to get on the phone with your next client who might not answer or go to your next home who might not be there. So add your extra appointments, but when you have someone on, just stay focused on loving the person that you're with. I've heard Grady probably train on it 10,000 times. Literally, hey, if you've got someone on the phone or you're sitting in front of someone or you have someone on Zoom, dude, just love them. Pay attention you know, to everything that they're saying. Have a true, genuine interaction on top of an extra volume, uh, extra volume in your schedule. I think it's going to be pretty hard if you give me 156 extra appointments versus everybody else that I'm not going to hit my numbers. So that's that's my kind of two cents, Jamie. I, I think it's a lot simpler to break down if you just take it one day at a time and then use that, you know, compounding momentum, if you will, over a, a 90 day roll. I think you guys are going to give yourself an extra month of production. There's no way you'll miss. Absolutely. I mean, from the beginning, your story has always been you make up in numbers what you lack in skill. You were the guy who said, I'll run 40, 50 appointments in a week just to just to figure this out. So for anybody out there that knows that they're not skilled yet, 
you can still be somebody who gets on this cruise if you're just willing to run more appointments than anybody. So Easton, we appreciate that, man. That was such a good tip. All right, we're going to round this thing out here with our last one. Um, One of our top producers and managers of FFL Gloves Off, Josh Lockhart. How are we doing, man? Hey, doing great, Jamie. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you okay. All right, so this this is one where I'm curious to hear your, your thoughts. Somebody who just, they haven't quite wrapped their mind around going from three, four families a week to 10 families a week. Like what's, what's that jump look like? Is it a mindset jump? Is it an activity jump? Like, is it just, is it just belief? Is it that simple? Like what, what's your conversation with someone that you maybe know could do it, but they don't yet see themselves there. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I definitely, I I have this exact answer. Um, So even prior to FFL, I mean, I've been around direct sales and network marketing for a long time and Every year we had some kind of trip where we're we're going somewhere, an incentive trip. And I went many, many years, never, ever making the trips. And then I hit a, a one year. And then the rest of the time, I always hit the trip. It would be, it, it was never a question of like, oh, hey, you know, my wife going, hey, babe, are we going this year? It's like, where are we going this year? And so that's a shift that a lot of people have to make where, you know, you hear Hayden, you hear Easton, you hear these people, um, and, and we know what they've done. We know the numbers that have they've produced, and we're like, oh, of course they've done it. But if you've ever listened to their stories, especially, you know, Easton comes to mind, he tells a story where when I got started, you know, it wasn't working, I was going into debt, and boom, you know, I fixed this, this, and this, and now we all know him as this ultra high producer. So every single person here can make that shift. And, you know, we've heard some great tips. I mean, and with all these little tweaks, it can happen for you. I, you know, Hayden Hill at the top of the call, he said my favorite line, show bigger numbers. Just before this call, I was, you know, I, I sold a maxed out Eagle because I remember Hayden telling me show bigger numbers. So I did that. And that got me, you know, what, 20% more premium, 40% more premium. So all these little things are going to help, but at the end of the day, you have to actually make a decision and decide that you're actually going to go and not, and here's the difference. I'll give you an analogy. Uh, Be the uh, thermometer or be the thermostat, not the thermometer. Okay. So in your house, a thermometer tells you what the temperature is. A thermostat sets the temperature, right? So person A goes, Hey, I'm going to go on this trip. Uh, if if it works out, if I can get my appointments, I'll go. If I if I have a good July, then we'll see how it shakes out, right? And, and you talk to your spouse, your significant other, and you're like, oh yeah, it'd be nice if we can go. And th- and this is your language, versus the person that goes, hey babe, we're going on the trip. Hey, you've never done that much. Yeah, I know. I'm going to figure it out. You can count on me. And if nothing else, for me right? To, to be perfectly honest, yes, I want to go and hang out with everybody. Yes, I want to go on the cruise. And, you know, especially that time of year, being in a warm climate sounds awesome. But more importantly, I want to be the person for my agency, for my family that they're like, hey, I can count on him. He knows where he's going, right? And so when it comes time to do these things, listen, I don't know about you, but you know, they said you can take a plus one. Obviously, I'm going to bring my wife. My wife works really stinking hard. She's upstairs taking taking care of my little kids. They've kind of been monsters today. Not I love them, but it's this is the truth of the matter, right? And she's up there making sure she gets all that done. And so to be like, hey, I don't know. We'll see if I'm going to go and be able to take you on a nice cruise. Like, what kind of guy would I be? And so making the decision and going and telling and doing what Bowen said, you know, telling a few people that matter, Hey, we're going to go and do this. So you you can be accountable. So when it gets tough on July 27th or August 13th, and it doesn't look like you can make it. And you remember what Sean said about coming from behind and go, you know what, let me just keep going. Cause that moment's going to come for you. It's going to be, you know, something gets declined. The payment doesn't go through. You had the big case. You had two bad weeks. Something happened where you're going to find yourself in that feeling a little bit behind. But if you've made the decision that, yes, I'm going no matter what, you'll play until the whistle sounds, not to when you get tired. And that's the difference with showing, you know, somebody that always goes is they have a standard of, of course, I'm going to go. No one's going to ask anybody on the call here that we just heard from, are you going to be on it? Of course, they're going to be on it. There is no question because they've made the switch in their in their mind that they're the type of person that always gets it done and they're going to work until it gets done. And so as you get off 
and you go and you talk to your team, you talk to your family, you know, you'll know within the next couple of days if you're going to go because of the language and the people that you've shared this with. If you shy away from it, if you start using just language, hey, if I can just do this or just do that, or, you know, I don't even like cruises anyway, you know, I get seasick. That's all nonsense, right? You deserve it. Your family deserves it. You know, you deserve to be the person that people follow because you're a good example. So just make the decision. You'll be glad that you did. And then let's just freaking get to work and make it happen. Jamie, back to you. Thank you so much, man. I think what I'm most excited about kind of closing this thing out, guys, the cruise is going to be great. But the person that you will become on the other side of a 90 day push is it's even more exciting. Um, I think that's something that I really want to focus on here. Um, being around the people, that's going to be great. The fruit that will come from that specifically will be amazing. And we'll touch on that here in a second. But the person that you'll become when you prove to yourself that you can do hard things. You know, there are so many different aspects in our life where we can do hard things, whether that's, you know, physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever, in a business sense, this is the way that we take care of our families. And to be able to check that box saying, I can confidently be the provider for my family. Like what a powerful thing to be able to do because you prove to yourself that I can't just do this one time, but I can do this over and over and over and over again, laying the foundation for your future business, because now you've proven that you can run at a higher pace. You can run at a higher clip. You've proven that you can add on those two extra appointments. I remember at one point in my career, I thought there's no way I could ever do more than seven appointments in a day. Like I have this weird ceiling. I can't do more than seven in a day. I can't do more than seven in a day. The other day I did 14 appointments in one day, every half hour. And it's just, it's that, that mental shift of like, you can do just a little bit more. And I love what Easton said there in regards to help the one you're with guys, when you run an every half hour schedule, you will be late to the next appointment. A hundred percent. You will be. And guess what? There's going to be people that no show you and it's going to make up for it. There's going to be people you're an hour and a half late to see. That's fine. Help the one that you're with. I have never, ever regretted helping the person that I was with. That's where the best premium comes. The ones that stay on the books, the person who's right there in front of you. So pack your schedule. That's obviously important. And just know that when you make it here, there's that cliche saying events change lives. It's cheesy, but it's real. Um, I can remember every single decision that I've made in my business career has happened at an event. It was one event pushing to another event. Well, guess what? We've got this event here in November. What comes 90 days after this? Convention. So it's like 90 day push followed by 90 day push. So anybody who's looking at this going, goal for relief, I can get on this cruise and then I can just chill. Yeah, I get for absolutely you could. Or you could look at it as I deserve this three to four days. And that's the recharge that I need to push for 90 more days into the Family First Life Convention in Dallas. So you'll get a chance to obviously be around top producers, top managers. You get a chance to hear stories and not just like the, the story of, hey, Easton was a guy who you know was selling rental cars and now he does this and Bowen was doing this and now he's doing that. You're going to hear like real stories. Like you're going to hear the stuff that happens in the home that we can't talk about on podcasts. Like you're going to laugh harder than you've ever laughed before. You're going to make friends with people that you're going to be elbow partners with. Like there's some people right now in this business that I was coming up with for like the last three years. They're the same people that I call today are people that I went on trips with when I'm having a hard day. They're the same people that I'm you know, excited to be working with on a daily basis and we're on different teams, but I wouldn't have gotten a chance to be close with those people if it wasn't qualifying for these types of trips. And obviously the experience, the relationships, the belief level, that's all gonna go through the roof. And I think the last thing I'll really touch on is there's just something called the campfire effect. Uh, the campfire, you know, the closer you are to the campfire, the warmer you are, the more excited you are, as simple as it gets, the further you get from the campfire, the colder you get, the less excited you get, and ultimately the further you get from the campfire, um, you're going to freeze and die. And like this is the biggest fire that we can create in regards to charging everybody up for another 90 day push or look at it like a cell phone analogy. You take your phone off the charger, eventually it's going to die. Like these trips are that charger that's going to take you back to 100% to keep pushing. Andrew Taylor talked about goals for relief. Like we should be doing this, whether we have an incentive trip or not, push in for 90 days, go take a three-day trip with your wife and kids, go do something fun for yourself, but like prove to yourself that you deserve it. One of the things that we always talk about is earning the right to take that time off. Like we're all self-employed here. We're all 1099 business owners. 
at the end of the day, um, a lot of us are horrible bosses to ourselves. Most of us have no right to dictate our own schedule, to be totally honest, because we're all super lazy. Like I was the absolute worst. I had no right to be my own boss before I got into family first life. But then you go out there and you prove by helping 8, 10, 12 families a week for 90 days in a row, being a really, really good steward of the commissions that are coming in, put some money to the side for taxes, put some money to the side for savings, like pour it back into your business, get more leads, get better, help other people on your team, like become a good steward. You prove to yourself, you can steward these commissions, pay your bills, save some money, stay out of debt. Like you've proven that you can actually be a business owner. So like it's more than just qualifying for a trip. It's about the person that you'll become on the other side of this when you realize, okay, I can manage this type of cash flow. Like I can. Guys, I came into this business bankruptcy, horrible manager of cash flow, $50,000 in personal and private debt to others, the IRS, anything you can imagine. I was a horrible steward of my cash flow and of my time. But you do this over and over and over again. You prove to yourself that you can be your own boss. You can prove to yourself that you can dictate your own schedule. When you prove to yourself you can be your own boss, dictate your own schedule, have consistency, like then your family can trust you that you can be provider. Like that's what an opportunity like this really is, at least for me, is the opportunity to prove it that I can't just do this once a week because anybody can get on here and sell insurance. It's not that hard when people raise their hands saying, I'm looking for insurance. It's not that difficult. You get the right tone and pace in your voice and you learn how to take control, you'll sell some insurance. But do you have the mental capacity to do it every single week over and over again, be a good steward and build a real sustainable business where you can create long-term stable income? That's what this is about. And the cruise is a giant bonus. It's a huge incentive. It's going to be incredible. But who you become on the other side is going to be even better. So guys, we're excited. More announcements coming soon, uh, more qualifications. There's going to be some little things in regards to, hey, it's probably going to be these five carriers. It's going to be all life. Here's the exact you know, breakdown of the calendar in the weeks. We'll make sure we post that uh, schedule of 7,700 a week and what the qualification weeks are in every major Facebook group. We'll get it out on the emails and we'll get it to all the top leaders. But guys, we appreciate you. It's still early. It's uh, not even six o'clock Eastern over here, three o'clock on the West Coast. So there are live dial rooms that will be open all over the country until late tonight. People who are selling, I got an appointment here in I think three minutes. So if you want to stay on and listen to one, I'll be running one here in a couple of minutes. But I appreciate y'all. Everybody have an amazing night and we'll see you next time. Have a good one, guys. See ya.